Hi, this is Steven from Simstone, and today I'm going to talk to you about Brightliness Theme Sample Data Installation. We're going to be using our theme documentation as an online guide for installing sample data. So the, the first thing you should note is that you should not install sample data on, on an already existing website unless you don't need that website because our sample data installer what it does it basically just overwrites your old database with a completely different new database so if if you use it on a good existing website the website is just going to, to be destroyed uh, so this is meant to be used on a fresh wordpress install and that's what we have right here this is a fresh WordPress install of Brightliness. Uh, there is no content, nothing. It's just a blank, um, basically a blank uh, site. So the first thing we need to do is we need to install Sample Data Installer plugin. And we can find this plugin inside our Themes Required Plugins folder. So here is our uh, theme package right here. Um, so we, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to we're gonna need to uh, unzip it. Gonna need to unzip it and extract extract it into some other folder, for example. Then we're gonna need to find the theme and unzip it again. And see, this is the required plugins for, and this is the sample data installer plugin we're looking for. So we need to install this plugin by going to plugins, add new, and we're gonna select upload plugin, choose file, and select this sample data installer plugin right here. Press install now. Okay, the plugin is ex is installed, and now we need to activate it to actually install the you know the database to replace it. Uh, so we hit activate plugin, okay, we have the plugin activated right here, so we can see on our front end of our website we can see that it now looks more like our live demo uh, but you know not exactly <laughs> it kind of likes the demo images and, and things like that so um, what would our next step be is we need to follow this link which I already did but you need to follow this link to download the 300 megabytes of, of the demo images, they, they should not be used on a uh, live uh, working website, but you can use them as an example, you know, and replace them with your own images. So uh, you follow this link, go to our Dropbox account and download this uh, big zip folder. I already did it. It's right here. Uh, then you need to extract extract this big folder and then once the big folder is extracted you need to upload it to your website via FTP I will show it to you in a minute
Okay, we extracted, uh, we extracted the uploads folder. Here they are. Now we need to go to our uh, site via FTP. We need to refresh this folder and see this is our uploads folder we downloaded and this is our website structure on, on the server. We go to the WP content folder and we can find this uploads folder right here. So we need to enter it then we need to enter this uploads folder and just basically select everything here and hit upload. Uh, you need to um, you need to avoid this situation when you place one uploads folder into another uploads folder because this is a common mistake uh, users sometimes make and it can be kind of confusing. So the, the best thing to avoid it is to understand that you need to place the content of one uploads folder, you know, in inside the other uploads folder. Um, now this process may take a while since there is, you know, over 300 megabytes of information transferred via FTP. Once the transfer of files is finished, we need to go back to our website and um, regenerate thumbnails. Go to tools, regenerate thumbnails, hit regenerate thumbnails, and press the regenerate all thumbnails button. Once the thumbnails have been regenerated, uh, we need to go to the front end and reload our page to make sure that we actually get the images. And yes, we do get them. But, you know, there are still a few details, like the header isn't exactly like it looks on a live demo and so on. So we need to go back to our online guide and see that the fourth step it suggests is to hit the Save Options button in Theme Options. Let's go to Appearance, right in the Theme Options, and hit the Save Options button. Reload the front page again, and as we can see, the header has changed. Now it looks quite like the demo, but there are still few things missing. What's missing are a couple of text widgets. One of them is should be located here in, in the shop menu, and the other one here in the footer. Uh, so uh, we need to go back to our theme documentation and see what it suggests in this case. So first we're going to be adding the uh, menu text widget. To do that, we need to copy this code from our uh, online documentation. Go to WordPress dashboard, go to appearance menus, and uh, um, select the main menu here, press select. And um, over the um, shop menu item, press mega menu, select text widget over here, it's gonna be added, press this icon, and paste the text. Hit save, then go all the way down, hit save menu, and let's see what do we have on the front end? Let's reload the page. And we can see this widget right here, but no widget over here. So now we need to add widget at the bottom. So we kind of scroll down in our documentation and see that we need to put a an empty text widget in footer sidebar 
column number one and paste this text over there. Let's do it. Go appearance, widgets, uh, find a text widget, drag it to footer sidebar column number one, paste this code, hit save, refresh the front page. And yes, here we go. Uh, sample data has been installed. Thank you for watching.